the next one is bt cotton so this is the only uh, genetically modified crop which is commercially cultivated in india okay you should know that because there are many genetically modified crops you will be hearing many of them okay but you should always keep in mind that bt cotton is the only one which is having the permission to be commercially cultivated bt in the bt cotton stands for bacillus thuringiensis it's a bacteria okay so it has a toxin within it okay this bacteria has a toxin within it okay but why that toxin is not affecting the bacteria or what is the uh, condition which allows the bacteria to carry that toxin why that uh, toxin is not affecting the bacteria okay the bacteria carries it in the form of protoxin protoxin okay what do you mean by protoxin what is pro word breakage we have discussed about what is it pro means what is pro nucleus in what is pro in pro nucleus early or before okay so this pest contains sorry this bacteria contains the toxin in the form of protoxin that is it is not in an activated form okay this is before activation or before toxin form okay that is why it is not affecting the bacteria or for that matter it is not affecting the cotton when it is uh, get uh, when we introduce it into the cotton right this is the introduction of bt cotton or the formation of bt cotton okay first what we are doing is first this is the bacillus thuringiensis or the bacteria from which we are extracting the genes okay there are two genes cry1 ac this is the major gene which is responsible for the toxin or protoxin okay so we are extracting that gene from the bacillus thuringiensis organism bacteria okay now what we are doing is we are having this cotton okay and we are introducing this gene into the cotton this is the speaker okay this gets multiplied or get introduced into the cotton cells okay as the cotton develops this gene also getting uh, is getting developed okay so this cotton now has bacillus thuringiensis gene or cry1 ac gene which is responsible for production of protoxin or toxin when it is mainly against the ball worm okay you know uh, the cotton is mainly seen in the form of a ball like structure right okay the pest the which affect this this ball worm okay so this affects the when the ball worm is at uh, ball worm attacks the cotton this gets ingested into the ball worm okay when this gets ingested into the ball worm what is happening is the protoxin gets activated to toxin what does uh, what is the um, or what why toxin gets activated But because in the gut there are mechanism with which the toxin is getting activated okay finally it will lead to the death of the pest understood we had a bacteria named bacillus thuringiensis it contains specific gene naming cry1 ac and other gene as well which is having the potential of producing protoxin we have introduced or we have modified our cotton cell and introduced this specific gene into the cotton and later while the cotton is developing this gene also got developed in the cotton when ball worm attack the cotton this gene also entered into the ball worm okay which resulted in death of ball worm and pest resistance occurred in the cotton without any application of external pesticide clear okay so this is a strain some strains of bacillus thuringiensis produces proteins that kill certain insects example ball this protein is called bt toxin okay why it is not affecting affecting the cotton or the bacteria because it is in the form of protoxin okay and that is inactivated form in the bacteria but becomes ingested once ingested by a pest what is the pest in it 
here is bolvo clear in effect this has created a bio pesticide we are not affecting pesticides uh, we are not uh, what adding a pesticide from external but it itself act as a bio pesticide clear for example our bt cotton rice tomato there are very uh, other varieties as well bt in which bt is introduced uh, one example is bt brinjal okay but uh, this is not cultivated in india because right now it has got a uh, like commercial um, environmental cultivation but it has not got any commercial one only commercial cultivation is possible with bt cotton okay now cry jeans are cry one ac cry two ab you don't need to uh, what mug up this genes just understand that there are genes responsible for the formation of protoxins clear this is mainly against the cotton ball war now one of the forms or one of the method by which we are introducing or we are altering the um, plant is by bt cotton or introduction of another recombinant dna technology mainly okay what was happening is recombinant dna technology only right we are altering the thing altering the genetic material right 